Have you ever wondered how the Roman Republic, an iconic political system, came into existence? Picture a time when Rome was not a republic, but a kingdom ruled by a string of monarchs. The last of these, King Lucius Tarquinius Superbus, was not exactly popular. In fact, his tyrannical rule caused such discontent that it sparked a rebellion. In the year 509 before the Common Era, a dramatic shift in power occurred. The people, having grown weary of monarchy, overthrew King Lucius. They decided to establish a new form of government, one that would give power back to the people. And so, the Roman Republic was born. It was a revolutionary concept at the time, a government by the people, for the people. It was a radical departure from the monarchies of the past, and it would forever change the course of history. The Roman Republic was born out of a rebellion against tyranny, setting the stage for a new era. What roles did Lucius Junius Brutus and Lucius Tarquinius Collatinus play in this historical transformation, you might ask? Well, let's delve into it. Brutus and Collatinus, these names reverberate through the annals of history, each carrying the weight of the Roman Republic on their shoulders. Both were instrumental in the seismic shift from monarchy to republic. As the first consuls of the Roman Republic, their leadership was crucial to this political transformation. Brutus, a staunch opponent of the monarchy, played a key role in rallying the Romans against the tyranny of the last Roman king, Tarquin the Proud. On the other hand, Collatinus, despite being a member of the royal family, was committed to the cause of the Republic. Their leadership helped establish the consulship as the highest political office in the Roman Republic, a position that would hold sway for over four centuries. This was a defining moment for the Roman political system setting the stage for the Republic's future governance. Brutus and Collatinus, the first consuls, were instrumental in the establishment and the functioning of the early Roman Republic. How did the Roman Republic function and what were its key institutions? At the heart of the Roman Republic's political structure stood the Senate, comprised of Rome's wealthiest and most influential citizens the Senate was the Republic's primary legislative body. Senators were responsible for setting the state's financial policies, conducting diplomacy, and declaring war. Their influence reached far and wide, shaping the Republic's political, social, and economic landscapes. Next, we have the Consuls, the Republic's executive branch. Two Consuls were elected annually, each with veto power over the other's decisions. They were Rome's highest officials, responsible for enforcing laws, leading the military, and presiding over the Senate. Their dual leadership and mutual veto power ensured a balance of power, preventing any one individual from gaining absolute control. Lastly, let's delve into the citizen assemblies. These were the voices of the common people, the plebeians. They elected officials, passed laws, and made decisions on war and peace. Despite the Senate's influence, the citizen assemblies held significant power, further balancing the Republic's political structure. What's truly remarkable about the Roman Republic is the system of checks and balances it introduced. The Senate, the consuls, and the citizen assemblies each had distinct roles, but the powers were intertwined, ensuring no single entity could dominate. This concept, innovative for its time, deeply influenced the development of modern democracies. The Roman Republic's political structure, innovative for its time, continues to influence modern governance systems. So, how did the Roman Republic impact our world today? Let's delve into the lasting contributions of this ancient political system. The Roman Republic pioneered the concept of representative democracy, a system where citizens elect officials to represent their interests. This principle is a cornerstone of almost every Western democracy today, from the United States to the United Kingdom. The Republic was also instrumental in establishing the rule of law. This principle, which holds that all citizens, regardless of their social or political status, are subject to the same laws, was revolutionary at the time. 
It challenged the arbitrary rule of kings and emperors, setting a precedent for equality before the law, an idea that has been enshrined in legal systems across the globe. The Romans also held the idea of civic duty in high esteem. They believed that citizens had an obligation to participate in public affairs and contribute to the common good. This principle is echoed in the democratic values we hold dear today, such as voting in elections, serving on juries, and paying taxes. So, while the Roman Republic might seem like a distant memory from the past, its influence is still very much alive. Its key principles have been woven into the fabric of our modern democratic societies, shaping the way we think about governance, law, and citizenship. The Roman Republic, though ancient, has left a legacy that continues to resonate in our current political systems.